to Megan Salty Creations. Today we're going to be making Mexican wedding cookies. These are delicious and easy to make cookies that just taste wonderful. These are the ingredients that you will be needing today. The first thing that I will need today is one cup of non-hydrogenated non-dairy butter right here. The second thing that you will need is one fourth cup of granulated sugar I will be using organic cane sugar from Trader Joe's, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. I will be using Bob Re Bob's Red Mill gluten-free flour. Um, I highly suggest it, and it has to be sifted too. And the next thing that you'll need is two cups of raw pecan raw pecans, finely chopped. You can use any type of nuts. I will be using walnuts. That You can use pecans, you can use almonds, you can use walnuts or hazelnuts, any type of nuts that you really want. And the last thing that you'll need is two cups of confectioner sugar that is sifted. I will be using this flat pan because you are going to roll it, roll the cookies in it at the end. Okay, let's get to baking. The first thing that you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have done that, the next thing that you're going to want to do is line cookie sheets with parchment paper. Okay, after you've done that, is with an electric mix mixer or hand mixer, or by hand, cream together the butter, sugar, and vanilla until nice and fluffy for about one to two minutes. Let's do that. Okay, once you've mixed together your butter, your vanilla, and your sugar, you're then going to add your, sif your sifted flour to your butter mixture. I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, once you have all your dough kind of mixed together, it should be looking just like this. The next thing that you're going to want to do is add your chopped nuts just straight into that mixture. And you're going to want to just stir it in. Okay, once you've mixed all your nuts in, the next thing that you're going to want to do is measure out generously rounded teaspoons full of dough and just roll them into balls and then place them on the cookie, sh cookie sheets about one inch one inches apart and then we're going to bake. Okay. Oh, you're tilted. Do, 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 do. Okay. Don't fall. Okay, I have to squat. Okay, you're just going to take your teaspoon and you're just going to go up right against the side, just like that. And then just, if your hands are clean, make sure to wash your hands really well. Really well. Just scoop it out like that and just roll it into a ball. And then you're going to take your little, it should be about like that big. Maybe this one lo looks a little small, so you can just add a little bit to it. They're really, really easy to roll. They should be not super hard to roll because it, like the butter melts in your hands, so make sure not to hold it too long. Um, so it should be about that size. And then you're just going to place it on the cookie sheet. Hello! And do that a lot of times till you're done with dough. A tisker, a tasker, a brown and yellow basket. I sent a letter to my mommy on the way I dropped it. I dropped it, I dropped it. Yes, on the way I dropped it. A little girl. Okay, so once you have put your dough into little balls on your baking sheet, the next thing that you're going to want to do is put your little, little dough balls into the oven for about... 30 minutes until they get golden. Let's put them in the oven. Okay, make sure that you have oven mitts, very important, and parent supervision. My mom is right here watching me. <laughs> okay, gonna get the first one. Okay, 
they're in the oven. Now we just have to wait 30 minutes until they're lightly golden. Get back to you then. Okay, once you have your cookies out of the oven, they should be looking just like this. They're very delicate, so be, be gentle with them. But you're just going to kind of pick them up, while make sure that they're still warm, and just kind of roll them in the sugar. Um, you really want to make sure that they're still warm so that the sugar, so that the confectioner's sugar still sticks to them. And kind of just shake them off a little bit. I'll get back to you when they're all covered in sugar. Okay, once you've let them cool for about five minutes after you covered them in sugar, they should be all ready to taste. Okay, let me get one. Taste it. Very crumbly, but Just crumbled. I like the crunch of the nut. The nuts are a very good crunch in it and they give it also a good taste. Just you on the outside kind of like brings it all together. Overall it's just really good. It 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 tastes just really, really good. I definitely recommend recommend this to make this at home and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Make It Healthy and don't forget to subscribe, click that like button below and turn on those not notifications so you get notified whenever I post a brand new video. Thank you. Bye. Tisket, a tasket, a brown and yellow basket. I sent a letter to my mommy on the way.